This video is sponsored by Audible. As somebody who has been to more guitar stores than most likely all of you. I, I have an addiction, don't ask questions. By the way, guitar store tour, you remember that? Started in 2018 and then COVID hit right as I was about to finish. I have four states left, Oregon, Utah, Washington, and Alaska. I'm finishing this summer. There may be a meetup. Stay tuned. Anyway, I've been to a lot of guitar shops over the years and I've seen it all. I think. I've been pretty much every type of person you can be in a guitar store, whether that's facetiously or in reality, so it's only appropriate that I analyze, apparently, the most cringeworthy people and occurrences in a guitar center, according to this lovely YouTube channel called Loudwire. Let's get into it. I'm going to react to these apparently cringeworthy fails. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> Did a drunk person film this? Also, where is this per is this person like laying on the ground just like looking up at this person after drinking a fifth of vodka? Just like, oh yeah, rock and roll, dude, this is sick. Whoa, that sounds like a, uh... <laughs> Nothing wrong with this. Uh-oh, he's turning it up. What the? Yo, what? What is going on? <laughs> is that guy having like an exorcism? Gotta go. <laughs> that guy's like, we gotta go. <laughs> I thought the fail was gonna be like the guy's gonna turn up the amp and play terribly, but in fact, there's like an air guitar demon being friggin' ripped out of hell right beside them. Dude. What is that guy? He he doesn't. going on? It looks like he's ripping the strings off the guitar. <laughs> he's got the death metal vocals going. Look, there's nothing wrong going in a guitar center if you haven't really learned to play a lot of things yet and just letting it go. That guy seemed like a perfect example of the too much volume. I've been that guy, of course, myself, otherwise I wouldn't know how to label it. And you know, sometimes, just just turn it down a little bit. It's okay to make some noise in the Guitar Center, of course, but just turn it down a little bit. Not everybody has to hear you, believe it or not. Okay, quick break from the cringiness. I need a bit of a reset here. Let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, Audible. You can start listening with a free 30-day Audible trial, which gives you access to thousands and thousands of popular audiobooks, original entertainment, and podcasts in the Audio Plus library. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash music is win or text music is win to 500 500. That's a free 30-day trial of Audible. Now, I've been using Audible for quite a while and I literally always have an audiobook or a podcast on when I'm doing anything that doesn't involve playing guitar or watching TV, so there's always something on in the background or when I go to sleep, I have my AirPods in and I'm listening to something. So if you're like me, Audible is definitely worth checking out. I actually just started listening to this audiobook called My First Guitar and it has 70 different guitar players like Joe Satriani, Les Paul, Jimmy Page, Tommy Emmanuel, just to name a few, talking about their first guitar, stories about guitar playing and how they started. It's 
fascinating. I actually started listening at 1.2 speed. There's a cool thing where you can adjust the speed that the narrator speaks at. So I found 1.2 is kind of my sweet spot, but definitely check out my first guitar if you're interested in awesome music stories surrounding the guitar from rock legends. This video is centered around Guitar Center, right? I think a lot of people bought their first guitar in a Guitar Center. Maybe if you were ever included in a book like this, you, uh, you might talk about that. One time in Guitar Center, I sounded terrible. Well, that wouldn't be a very original story. I think we would all fit that bill. But seriously, Audible is really cool. The app lets you share clips of your favorite audio excerpts with anyone. I'll share this one with you. A cup of coffee with Jimmy Page. My jaw fell open and stayed open as he told me he had been friends with Stan Kenton, Harry James, and Nat King Cole, for whom he'd written the song Pretend. That's pretty awesome. I wish I could have coffee with Jimmy Page. Anyway, check out audible.com slash music is win or text music is win to 500, 500 for your free 30 day trial of Audible. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to it. Some cringy fails at Guitar Center. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, I would do this. This is this is funny. I would be like, "What's up with these synth drums?" <laughs> no way, the drum battle with the synth drum versus the real drum kit. <laughs> You know the funny thing about when two guys are playing back and forth against each other? The person playing actually thinks what they're playing sounds cool, and they think that the person across from them thinks what they're playing sounds cool, but in reality, neither one is listening to the other one. <laughs> Nobody's listening to you except to you. Okay, this is this is painful already. The guitar center employees on the drums. <laughs> what the heck is this dude singing? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta try and understand what he's singing. The Guitar Center guys just like, this is my only chance to not be listening to terrible noises in the Guitar Center. I get to actually create them for once. He actually seems to be having a pretty good time. <laughs> oh, maybe he's not having a good time. The uh, bass player doesn't seem to be paying attention at all what's going on. The guitar player, like I said, is making up lyrics in the wrong time. And he's actually singing the wrong notes. Oh, I've seen this one. Big finish. <laughs> what? Like, what is this? What? What is that technique? Like, if you're gonna try and bend a note with that technique, that's ridiculously hard. This is so much easier. That's the only reason this sounds bad, I'm sure. The, the bending technique. Wait, let me count the strings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is an eight string. Why pick up an eight string if you're gonna play on the high strings? Isn't the whole point of picking that up in a guitar center to just go I feel like this guy should have had the eight string. <laughs> that sounds like me on the drums. The worst feeling when you're playing the drums and you suck at drums is when you hit your sticks together. It's just like, damn it. It's like stubbing your toe, but on the drums. Also, who are the people that film these things? I have to assume that the people behind the camera are equally as musically inclined as the people they're filming. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't be filming them, right? <laughs> he 
he's really cons this is like my golf swing right here it's just consistently bad whatever he's trying to play he's doing it over and over let me see if i can figure it out <laughs> make a song out of that. Oh no. Dude, band rehearsal at the guitar center. I've been there. I've been those kids. <laughs> when you can't get together at someone's house, you just go to guitar center and practice. Oh man, that was uh that brings me back. And they seem to be playing Whatever it is they're playing, they're playing in unison. This kid's wearing headphones. What's up with that? <laughs> That's actually the same hairstyle I had when I was about their age, too. Of course, that looks like uh, maybe a couple of Schecters going into the Line 6 Spider. This classic tone. <laughs> oh, no. I've seen this one. Dude, Guitar Center on a Saturday. This is what hell sounds like. 